Folks watching at home, this is the wreck of German nice U-boat, U-2513. In here. This, uh, this wreck has been here on the seafloor for, uh, I'm sorry, since 1951, when it was sunk by the U.S. Navy in a series of exercises. Uh, ordered sunk by gunfire after six years in U.S. Naval service, after just uh, actually only about a few months in German service. On the bottom right, uh, they're saying that it that's the hydrophone. Yeah. That's a nice shot. Just pirouette on a, that. We got a little bit of tech in there on her. But pirouette on that. Cut that out. That's what he wanted. Okay. Keep that up. This that's nice. Keep that shot. Um, exciting dive so far. Some really beautiful stuff as we got in close to the wreck. And we're about to uh, begin our high-res mapping of it. Uh, the images we get from this will be totally stunning. They always are. Uh, I'm trying to see what this, it's all it is. He. That's all it is in what a name. He. It looks like there's something under it, though. No, like, I haven't. Uh, yeah. What is oh, that? Oh, oh, oh. What colors were the H and the E? Look, uh, somebody just wrote two it. Two different colors. They were two different colors. They said that, eight, that it's a battle effectiveness award, the H and the E. And yeah, the, I thought it was H a battle E but for battle excellence. Health and wellness medal excellence award, and then the E's are all different colors. What color? It they had were the different black colors. Line it. it was hard so to tell. They yeah, both we we weren't close enough to get a real yeah. color Maritime out of it. Maritime warfare excellence award. Cool. There's the chain the going down from the tow points. Let's do another 10 meters, Miles. Okay. All right. Go ahead. There's oh, yeah. something. There's something. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. No, no, but that would have been foiled everything. No, we had to have this, you know, we had plus commercials. We had to drag this out. So the German U-166 was a submarine uh, during World War II and was sunk July 30th in 1942 right here in the Gulf of Mexico. To all of our listeners out there, we are looking at live footage of the German U-boat, U-166. Well, the submarine was probably painted to go underwater, and this one wasn't painted to go underwater. And the sub had just been built. Yeah. So, viewers and listeners, we are now exploring the SS Robert E. Lee. It's my best. No, the, uh, we have Dr. Ballard navigating. Okay. Generally, in deep water ships, they write themselves. The Bismarck went in upside down, righted itself. The Yorktown went in upside down. The shallower ones can't, don't have time to write them. So, Lusitania did, and Andrea Doria. Any, anything in shallow water, they, they don't write themselves, but deep water ones. About a 5,000 feet, like here, they write themselves. Because they remember once they're fully flooded where the bottom's heavy and they flip back. Yeah, yeah, they're getting out of dodge. Yeah, everything flooded equally. Yeah. If we could, uh, it looks like some of the glass is out. We might be or able the, to. It looks more, yeah, or the window's uh, open. Yep. Can the golf. Argus, you're clean. Can you repeat? Do we have an estimate on how yeah. many ships from cool World War II are in the square Gulf? Square up on those yes. windows uh, and uh, zoom 20, in. In 18 months, between 1942 and 1943, Germany sent 22 U-boats to operate yeah. in the Gulf of Mexico. Shut down the iris. Those 22 U-boats attacked 70 ships, of which 50 sunk and 20 were damaged so badly that many of them had to be, be broken up for scrap. Wow. Thank you. Well, this is where this is where the torpedo hit, yeah. and this is where the instant death of people occurred. Yeah. Right here. April thirteenth, nineteen forty-two, uh, Captain Eric Werderman put a single torpedo into the engine room. Right, which is right here. Yep, of the Gulf Pen, and twelve men immediately died, and the engines were stopped. Right, uh, ten they disabled the ship immediately. Yeah. Twenty-four men were able to get off into lifeboats and survive, and, and you know the the. The tragic thing is that they were being escorted by uh, a U.S. Navy bomber. Right. And 10 minutes before the torpedo hit, the plane had flown around and done a circuit around this ship. Gave it a clean Gave it an all, exactly. Right. And then bang. You're looking right. at a, a sunken oil tanker, the Gulf oh, yeah. Oil, sunk in... 1942, during World War II. We've gotten some good ideas of the coral growth rates from so shipwrecks and rigs, because you know, know when they went down. 72 years old. Yeah. 18 crew and the captain survived after the ship sank in less than two minutes. They were rescued 35 hours later. So 18 crew and the captain survived. 18 crew 
And I believe there were lost? 40 people on board. So it sounds like about 21 people, people were died. lost. Yeah. Sounds but, like, so yeah. 50, 50. Eight, yeah, about half, and yeah. the captain survived. We may get There's somebody. There's Ophelia growing on it, Chuck. <laughs> yes, there is. Yeah. They're, they are, uh, they're battling it out for, for living space. Yeah. The archaeologist that was out with us last time just sent us a message saying, great images, Nautilus. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We try to do our best. It's a whole we're not, different view. We're not done yet. <laughs>